sir. My name is Cecil Carlos Cecilio, BSMT2 Bidilgis, and this is my SIM6 lab lecture assessment. In task 1, explain the factors calculation of damage stability and maximum assumed healing moment. In SOLAS Chapter 2, 1 Part B1, answer is Factor M survival curve is the maximum assumed healing moment due to the launching of all fully loaded David launch survival craft on the ship on the side side of the ship. It shall be calculated using the following assumption. All lifeboats and res rescue boats fitted in the side to which the ship has healed after heavy sustained damage shall be assumed to be swung out fully loaded and ready for lowering. So this there are lifeboats and the rescue boats on the side of the ship. And in B for lifeboats which are arranged to be launched fully la loaded from the stored position, the maximum healing moment during launching shall be taken. So we have to make sure that the lifeboats are well arranged and and ready for launch for fully loaded in the stored. C a fully loaded David David launch life raft attached to its David David on the side to which the ship has healed after having sustained damage shall be assumed to be swing out ready for lowering. D person not in the life saving appliance which are not swung out shall not provide either add a he healing or writing moment so in e life saving appliance on the side of the ship opposite to the side to which the ship has healed shall be assumed to be in stored position so the life saving in e so we make, make sure that the ship has healed and in the ship is in stored position in task two, subdivision and damage stability in solas chapter 2 1 part b2 so this is the the illustration of the car, car uh, of the compartment so this one is the side side shell frame side shell frame which means it is is the shell is the shell on the side of the ship that forms the water tight skin along the ship side so this is the one this is the side sh shell frame so this is the port side Port side is on the left left side of the ship, and starboard side is the on the right side of the ship. So, it double double. This is the double bottom tank. Double bottom tank means watertight protective spaces that do not carry any oil, and which separates the bottom of tanks that hold any oil. So, there's this is the bottom tank, double bottom tank. The mid midship section. The top top side tank. is the top side tank and end bracket so it means the extent of the hull of a power powered vessel used to give support to the propeller shaft so upper tank upper tank are used for storage of water ballast so this is the upper tank as we can see in our illustration so in task 3, the damage assumption as extent of damage IBC code on the Marple IBC code for SOLAS. So this is the table. In side damage, so the longitudinal extent is 1, one third, 1 over 3 L, 2 over 3 or 14.5 meter, whichever is less. So transverse extent, 13 over 5 or 11.5 meters, whichever is less measured in board from the ship side at n at right angle to the counter line at the level of the summer load line Vert vertical extent so upwards without limit measured from the, the molded line of the bottom shell plating at the center line so the bottom damage is marple ibc igc or any part of the ship and longitudinal extent one one over seven liters or two, two over three or 14.5 meters whichever is less so 1 over 3 l 2 over 3 or 5 meter whichever whichever is less transverse extent 13 over 6 or 10 meters whichever is less or 13 over 6 or 5 meters whichever is less in the vertical extent 13 over 6 or 13 over 15 or 6 13 or 13 or 15 or 6 meters whichever is less measured from the molded line of the bottom shell plating at the center line so 
13 or 13 5 15 or or 13 m whichever is less measured from the molded line of the bottom shell plating at the center line that's it that's it sir thank you